This is a quick video response to W screen. I see you're having some funky issues. You're showing over here that you don't get the tracks, etc. And you know, whatever else. But here, anyways, this is how you do it, right? See, I have them here now, and this is probably what you were used to before. And then they suddenly introduced these, and now you have FL Studio 10, and now those aren't there anymore, right? So, actually, um, to add this bar down here so you can have those. Um, patterns as opposed to just tracks what you can do is just go up to options up here go to general settings and make sure you check off the legacy legacy pattern blocks um, they won't be adding that feature in there anytime in the future and I don't really care it's not it's it's kind of old so um, basically you can just go ahead and add that I actually still use it specifically just because it's a fast way to select uh, these uh, patterns right so I mean if I want to click on you know 12 and add pattern 12 I can do that if I want to add pattern 4 bang um, one there it is so I mean it, it's just a, an ex, a fast way to actually add all that stuff um, you're actually having some other problem too though your FL studio is crashing and you, that's that's the blunt of like that other stuff is irrelevant where when it comes down to your FL studio crashing if you're using a separate sound card directly that uses um, if you see this little box show SAO panel um, you're gonna want to have to go ahead and uh, you know raise that number to a higher number than what it is if it's ASIO. If you have a hardware buffer, this will show up, and you'll want to be able to uh, raise that. Um, usually, if if it's just crashing off what you have, that little rinky dink file that you had there, you're gonna want to raise that probably double. All right. So, anyways, um, go over to uh, primary sound card if that's what you're using and then you'll just get this little scroll bar here instead of the uh, ASAO buffer and you can put that up to most people will run it at 2048 um, which is okay but as soon as you start seeing under runs like you'll, you'll see down here if I drop it all the way to the bottom you're gonna see under runs and that's gonna kill your computer I mean it's, it's basically gonna make your FL studio crash and that's probably what's occurring um, it shouldn't actually have to crash. I mean, if it's high enough already and it's crashing, it means you're just running too much stuff in your RAM. Uh, you can actually see that here. Uh, my total memory, uh, I got tons of files running in the background. And uh, that's okay for me because I have, you know, a lot of memory. Uh, like, I think it's 8 gigs. But for you, you might not have that. Uh, it's pretty clear that if your FL Studio is crashing just off that one little file, you can actually type in something like here or actually matter of fact if you press the windows symbol on your keyboard between control and alt and hold down R as well you get the little windows run um, box and you can type in M S C O N F I G M S config so basically uh, once you've typed in MS config press OK go over to startup tab and um, basically you can test you can test this because you can go back in and turn it all back on, but uh, simply just uh, disable all. Um, that's that's the fastest way to make your computer run significantly faster in order for you to run a program like FL Studio properly. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope that helps you out. Anyways, take care, man.